Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to cover the most repeated questions of BMP01, Business Research from IGNU. Make sure you watch the video till the end, because your free PDF notes are available in the description, and the password to open the PDF is hidden somewhere in the video, so don't skip anything. Question 1. What is a research problem? Explain the process of its formulation. Let's start with the first repeated question. A research problem is basically the gap or issue that the researcher wants to study. In business research, it's usually a management problem, something that needs a proper data-based solution. Now, how do you formulate a research problem? The process is very systematic. One, identify a broad area. For example, customer satisfaction, employee performance, etc. Two, review existing literature. You check what previous researchers have said and where the gaps are. Three, observe the current situation. Talk to managers, look at reports, find out what is actually happening. Four, narrow it down from a broad topic to a specific issue. Five, set research objectives. What exactly do you want to find out? Six, check feasibility. Is the research possible in terms of time, cost, and resources? Seven, clearly define the final problem, a sharp, precise problem statement. This is the structure examiners want. Keep it short, logical, and well-sequenced. Question two, distinguish between inductive and deductive research. In simple terms, both are logical approaches to research. Inductive research starts from specific observations and moves to a general conclusion or theory. For example, you interview customers, observe patterns, and then develop a theory about buying behavior. Deductive research starts from general theory and tests it using data. For example, you take an existing model and check if it applies to your sample. Question 3. Explain qualitative versus quantitative data. This is another high-frequency repeat. Qualitative data is descriptive, like opinions, feelings, experiences. Examples include interview notes or customer feedback comments. Quantitative data is numerical, something you can measure. Examples include sales figures, ratings, percentages. Remember the key points. Qualitative gives depth, but can't be generalized easily. Quantitative is measurable and comparable, but may miss deeper reasons behind behavior. Question 4. What is sampling? Differentiate probability versus non-probability sampling. Sampling means selecting a part of the population for study. Probability sampling gives every member a known chance of being selected. Examples. Simple, random, stratified, systematic. Non-probability sampling does not give equal chances. Examples, convenience, judgment, quota, snowball. Use probability sampling when accuracy and generalization are important. Use non-probability when exploring a new area or when resources are limited. Question five, explain major data collection instruments. The four main instruments are, one, questionnaires, structured questions filled by respondents, two, schedules, similar questions but filled by an interviewer, three, interviews, detailed face-to-face -face or telephonic conversation, four, observation, recording actual behavior rather than asking people. Choosing an instrument depends on respondent literacy, type of data needed, time, cost, and accuracy required. Question six, what is validity and reliability? How to ensure them? Validity means your instrument measures what it is supposed to measure. Reliability means it produces consistent results. To ensure validity, use clear concepts, review existing scales, pilot test questions, take expert opinion. To ensure reliability, use simple wording, train data collectors, maintain standard procedures. Check internal consistency like Cronbach's Alpha. 
Question 7. Explain steps in data processing and analysis. The steps are very structured. 1. Editing, correcting errors or incomplete responses. 2. Coding, assigning numbers to answers. 3. Classification, grouping data into categories. 4. Tabulation, preparing tables for analysis. Then comes data analysis, which can be descriptive, mean, percentage, charts, inferential, correlation, regression, t-test. Finally, interpret results in simple, practical business terms. Question 8. Components of a business research report. Your report has three sections. Preliminary, title page, acknowledgements, contents, executive summary. Main body, introduction, literature review, methodology, analysis, findings, conclusions, recommendations. End matter, references and appendices. While presenting findings to management, keep visuals clear, focus on key insights, and highlight recommendations. Question 9. Ethical issues in business research. This is extremely important. Main ethical issues include informed consent, privacy and confidentiality, avoiding harm, no manipulation of data, no plagiarism, honest reporting, transparency in methods. Ethics protect respondents and maintain trust in research. Question 10. Role and significance of hypothesis in business research. A hypothesis is a testable statement predicting a relationship between variables. It helps by guiding the research, directing data collection, determining tools of analysis, increasing objectivity, helping in theory building. A good hypothesis is clear, specific, testable, and based on theory. This completes the most repeated questions of BMP01 Business Research. Don't forget to download the free PDF from the description. And remember, the password to open the PDF was mentioned somewhere in the video, so if you missed it, go back and find it. Thank you for watching. All the best for your exams.